Hi there, my name's Yuka and welcome to my channel. So if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you know that I just got back from Peru. So my fridge is completely empty. So I had to do a complete full restock for food. So I thought that I would show you guys what I bought and what I'm planning to make with it. So well, let's just get right into it. So I just bought this big thing of strawberries here. I always like to have fresh fruit on hand just for snacking. If I'm on the go and I just want to eat something really quick and easy, a little bit of energy and fiber, strawberries are a really great option for that right now because they are in season. These are so incredibly ripe and bread right now. They're so beautiful. And I just had a few of them and they're so sweet and amazing. Okay, so for this week, I wanted to eat something a little bit healthier and a little bit lighter. So I decided to make some Hainanese chicken rice. And so if you're familiar with that, it's basically like a whole chicken and you eat it with the soup that the chicken is cooked in and then with the side of rice. And then typically I've seen like cucumbers and then broccoli on the sides. And that's what I'm planning to make with what I bought this week. So I bought this broccoli because it's gonna be the side for my meal prep of the Hainanese chicken rice. I'm also planning to have shredded carrots on the side as well, but I already had some carrots, so I didn't have to buy any more, but um, I just got these cucumbers, one for the Hainanese chicken, and then also another for juice. I just bought this celery for the juice. I always like to get the celery that like that's not cut yet because vegetables actually lose its nutrients once they're cut. So if you're buying vegetables that are sliced or anything like that, they do have a slight less nutritional value than if you were to buy the whole vegetable. Either way, I mean, vegetables are great, so just continue to buy them. But if you do want to get the most optimal nutritional value, I highly suggest getting the vegetables that are in its full form rather than being processed in some sort of way. So celery is always really great for juice. And then I also love to make tuna salad sandwich or a tuna salad dip, and it's so good. And I always like to have a little crunch with the celery and then eat it with like pita chips or have it in a sandwich or something like that. So the celery will be for that. So I watched Josh Wiseman's Hainanese chicken rice video and he put shiitake mushrooms in there. I think it will add a really nice depth to it. So that's why I bought these shiitake mushrooms. Next up, spinach. So I always like to have a lot of spinach on hand for green smoothies to add to any sort of meal just to bulk it up and get a little bit more fiber, iron, um, and some vitamins. So highly suggest getting some spinach just to have on hand because you can just add it to pretty much anything that you're eating and it's so good. But I always like to just get a really big thing of spinach because I love to drink green smoothies like multiple times per week. So that's why I have this. Next, I always like to have um, tomatoes on hand just to add to anything that I'm making, honestly. Like I can add them to instant noodles, I can add them to stir fries, I can add them to a salad or some sort of dish, anything that I'm eating. Tomatoes are always great to add to basically anything also that you're eating. So I just wanna be straight up and honest with you guys. As you guys know that I recently just quit my corporate job. And so while I would love to buy organic everything, sometimes it's not realistic if you are trying to save money or you are on a budget. So I completely understand that and it's, it's fine. You know, you don't have to buy organic everything. There are a list of like the dirty dozen, the fruit and vegetables that actually matter that if you buy them organic or not and the rest are kind of like okay if you don't, which I can add in the description of this video so you guys are aware of it. But you know, like I said, if you are on a budget, you don't have to buy organic to eat healthy. Like some of the stuff that I bought is organic, but some of them it's not because it's not realistic for me when I'm on a budget to be buying organic all the time. So. If you can't buy organic, that's fine. It doesn't matter. As long as you're getting the nutrients from the fresh vegetables, then it's fine. I mean, obviously it's best to buy organic, but it's better to buy the vegetables and eat them rather than not and eat more processed foods. So just a little disclaimer here. And then like I showed in my previous video, these teeny tiny avocados, I love these because they're the perfect serving size. Like you can eat one of these in one serving and it's like, perfect so you don't have to waste like the other half if you get a large avocado. So these are really great to add to basically anything also. Just really great to have on hand. So one, I love to add them to my smoothies. Another thing is sides for like sandwiches, salads. If you wanna add a healthy fat to any like chicken and rice meal that you're eating, these uh, teeny avocados are a great option for that. Cilantro, definitely one of my favorite herbs, just like the smell and it's just so good. So I have cilantro on hand all the time. Cilantro and green onions is something that I always have on hand because you can add it to like any meal basically to really amplify the flavors and give it just a little, like another level of depth, you know. So 
cilantro is gonna be used for my Hainanese chicken rice recipe this week, but anything else, you know, if I wanna make like instant noodles or anything like that, like cilantro is always really great to have on hand. So, and last for produce, bananas. So like I said in my other video, what I like to do is I like to let these sit out until they get really brown because then they get sweeter. What I like to do is I cut them in half and then throw them in the freezer. And so these are really great to have on hand because you can add them to smoothies, you can add them to like acai bowls, even nice cream is really great. And nice cream is basically made from blend up uh, bananas, healthier option to ice cream. So if you're interested in seeing a recipe video for that, then leave a comment in the comment section and I will get that video up for you guys. But yeah, just bananas. So next up for protein. So like I said, I'm making the Hainanese chicken rice. So I got this whole chicken. You can definitely use like chicken thighs or drumsticks if you wanted to make it at home and you didn't want to use a whole chicken. But this was on sale at Knob Hill actually for 97 cents. So I couldn't pass it up. So this whole chicken was only $6.11. Can you believe it? Crazy. So this is going to be used for the Hainanese chicken. But another really great tip to save some money is to buy a whole chicken and cut it up. And you can watch videos on YouTube on how to, you know, cut up a whole chicken if you don't know how to. So like I said, 97 cents for per pound for a whole chicken, that's huge. So when you're buying like a whole thing of chicken breasts or chicken thighs, like you're spending so much money on it. And a lot of it is due to the labor, you know, of cutting the chicken up. and having just those pieces, but with the whole chicken, you have so much variation. You can use the bones to make a broth. You can use different parts of the chicken for, you know, other meals. So 6.11 for that whole entire chicken, it's a really great deal. So highly recommend getting yourself a whole chicken if it is on sale because it does save a lot of money in the long run. And next up, like in my previous video, these smoked chicken and dooley sausages. These are just so good to have on hand because it's 20 grams of protein for one sausage. So great for breakfasts. It's also great for like, if you want to do like a, like a German style sausage, stir fried cabbages and um, what's that called? Sauerkraut. This is really great. Highly recommend. Little, little nice little kick to it. And um, yeah. And then once again, the smoked turkey, like I said in my previous video, there's something about this smoked turkey that is just so good. I'm really not a huge fan of deli meat, but this, there's something about it that's so good. And so I really like to just have this on hand for if I'm feeling lazy and I just really want some sort of quick snack, some protein, I'm gonna just eat like a few slices of this and it's just really great because the flavor is just so good. So highly recommend getting yourself some of this smoked turkey. And then last, so I'm not really a big fan of processed foods, but like I said, I just got back from vacation, so I am feeling super lazy. So I wanted something quick and easy, and I don't know why, but I was craving orange chicken. This orange chicken is so good just to eat with rice, and you know, I can also eat it with like a side of broccoli or any type of side of vegetables, and I don't know, it's just really good. So I got this for this week. Next, this is organic milk from grass-fed cows. And the reason why I like to buy this is because it's just a little bit healthier of an option for milk. I'm planning to make my homemade yogurt with this. This milk is a little bit more pricey than like regular milk. There's something about the flavor that's so good of this. It's just a little bit creamier and I don't know, it's like not as sour tasting and it's a little bit like thicker. I don't know, just so good. Um, and I don't know why, but the expiration dates for these are so much later than like your typical you know milk sometimes you you'll buy a milk and it expires in like two weeks but this is june 30th so that's today's may 2nd so it's like i don't know that's that's like two months basically that this is lasting so i don't know what what the reason of that is but although it is a little bit more pricey it lasts longer so if you aren't someone that drinks a lot of milk and wants something to last you a little bit longer this is a great option and it's just a little bit healthier so okay these hash browns are so good. They're like the McDonald's hash browns and they're frozen. So you just, so good. You just like pop one out and then, you know, you can heat it up on the stove and it's just so good. Really great for breakfasts, really great to just, yeah, for breakfast. So I love these, they taste amazing. Gotta get some of these. Okay, and if you guys saw my previous video, you guys know I love dolmas. And these are actually the, the regular ones that are stuffed with rice. In my previous video, I got the one that was stuffed with quinoa because they were actually out of these. And while those were really good and they almost taste exactly the same, there was a little bit of a difference in the texture because of the quinoa had a little bit more of a crunch to it compared to this rice is like very smooth and you know, there's no, there's no real bite to it. But 
I always love to have this on hand. So whenever I'm making Greek food, which is pretty often, then I have one of these, or if I just want a snack, if I have someone over and we want a quick little bite, this is always great to have on hand, so. Next up, coconut cream. So a friend of mine from my yoga teacher training gave me this black wild rice. And I went to this Thai restaurant the other week and they made the mango sticky rice with black wild rice. And I was like, whoa, this is super cool. Like I've never had it like that. And so I decided like, why not try to recreate that? So I'm gonna use the rice that she gave me. Thank you, Jen. And um, I needed some coconut milk or coconut cream for that. So I bought this. And I've actually never made mango sticky rice before, so it will be new, but I think it will be amazing. So I'm super excited for that. Next, garbanzo beans. So garbanzo beans are amazing because you can add these to like a pasta salad, you can add these to soups, you can add these to salads, you can add these for a, like a tuna or meat alternative. You can also make hummus with these. So garbanzo beans are super versatile and um, really easy to work with. So. Just got a little can of these. Okay, and can we talk about protein bars? So these are RX bars, and these are great because it lists all of the ingredients right here, so you are not getting tricked into buying something that you think is healthy that's not. So this only has three egg whites, six almonds, four cashews, two dates, and no BS. So this is 12 grams of protein, and there's no added oils in this. So I just got the vanilla almond and the chocolate raspberry, and while these do have natural flavorings in them, I haven't been able to find it, an option that doesn't have that. So I definitely want to try to make my own little um, protein bars at home. But until then, I'm going to be buying these. And these are really good to just have in your bag when you're out on the go. Because sometimes you're out on the go and you are out longer than you expect and you are hungry and you don't have anything to eat. And then what do you do? You go to like, you know, Chipotle or something, or <laughs> you get some fast food for a little snack, right? But these are just great to have in your bag so that when you're hungry, you can eat something and not starve yourself and then binge later on. Okay, and last, from Trader Joe's. These, I am a sucker for. These, I wouldn't say these are healthy, so don't, don't say I said that, but these are delicious. These are amazing. I am a sucker for blueberry muffins, and these are so moist, so smooth, and like, I don't know, I love, like cakes, cupcakes, and things like that. I honestly cannot resist that stuff. My least favorite thing is like a dry cupcake or a dry muffin. These just have so much moisture in them. They're so, they're so smooth, like they're just amazing. I definitely, if you are wanting to eat some good blueberry muffins, these are amazing. Honestly, I've eaten this whole entire pack in two days. It's dangerous. Maybe, maybe you shouldn't do it. Maybe you shouldn't buy these because, because they are very dangerous. You will, you will just get addicted and eat these. So, uh, yeah, four muffins in two days. I don't know. I, I don't, re I don't recommend them. Okay, and last to finish up this haul. So these items were not purchased at Trader Joe's. They were actually purchased at Costco, so that's why they are in bulk. But you can get or all of these products at Trader Joe's just at a smaller quantity. First, I got this big old bag of garlic. Um, this is. Christopher Ranch garlic from Gilroy, which is, I don't know if it's like the home of garlic, but I believe it is. Next, ginger. I I can use this whole entire thing before it goes bad, which is pretty impressive. Uh, I put these in juices, I put these in teas. I'm also, you can put these in soup. So when I make the Hainanese chicken, I'm gonna be using a lot of ginger. I'm planning on making like this ginger dipping sauce also. So that is why I have this huge thing of ginger so good for you. So highly recommend just getting ginger and having it on hand and adding it to like hot tea or soup. Oh, also I like to add these to my smoothies. So ginger is just great and it's super nutrient dense. So get yourself some ginger. Next up, this big thing of tuna. So tuna is really great because it's super high in protein, really great easy snack. And then, um, you know, this stores for a really long time also. So it's not gonna go bad anytime soon. Tuna salad sandwiches, tuna dips, you can add it to salads, whatever, to get some added protein. This is the brand that I get. It is Wild Planet, so, and I like it, so it's good. Next up, these pasture-raised eggs. So eggs are just great. Protein, have them for breakfast, ha add them to like a rice dish to bulk it up, get some extra protein, add them to instant noodles, whatever you wanna do. Eggs are always great to have on hand. 
And last up is this canned chicken broth. So I just buy this from Costco because it's, uh, you know, comes in bulk. And what I like about this is that there's not like MSG added or any, any, um, additives really it's I just like these cans because I like I can use one can to make like one cup of rice and I don't you know when you buy those like big carton ones you have to use those in a few days or else they go bad so if you don't have any use for them and you just want like you know one or two cups of it this is just a really great option to have on hand because it's just easy to use and you don't waste anything so yeah chicken broth all right, so that concludes the food haul, and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Also, I'm wondering, do you guys want to see the recipe for the high 90s chicken rice? It's just super light and easy, really great for meal prep, and you can you know eat it for dinner or lunch or whatever you want to do, and it's just like a healthy, healthy option because it's just literally chicken, rice, soup, and some vegetables. Flavors are amazing. They're really they have a lot of depth even though it's literally just chicken and rice. So if you want to see the recipe for that, leave a comment in the comment section and let me know and I'll make that for you guys so you can see it. And, um, and also leave a comment below to let me know what you guys are buying this week and what you're planning on making. I'm super interested to know and I love to hear what you guys are making to get some inspiration. So if you don't already follow me on Instagram or TikTok, then please go ahead and follow me at Yuka California. All of my social media handles is Yuka California, but I would love to connect with you. Leave me a comment, send me a DM, and I would love to just chat with you guys. It's super interesting to hear from you. And um, yeah, so don't be shy. I would love to connect with you. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I hope that you choose health, you know? Buying all of these ingredients, the reason why I like to do these food hauls is to show you guys that you don't have to buy processed foods. You can buy like vegetables or you know ingredients and create something out of it and it can be super healthy and it can last you a long time and in the end it does actually save you money in the long run because of how much you can make with just like a head of broccoli you know what I mean so yeah um, I hope that you guys got some inspiration from this if you want to see any of the recipes that I spoke about in this video then please leave me a comment below and I would love to get that up for you guys and yeah until next time I hope you have a great rest of your day